unified voice for Indian country. The work that you do to protect tribal sovereignty and the, to advance the well-being of tribal nations, it is crucial. And Congress continues to work with you, but we need to be a better partner into the future. Multiple rounds of continuing resolutions, a looming threat of a shutdown, creating chaos in our federal government, that just undermines our trust and treaty responsibility to your nations. So, but we have to focus on accomplishments, good things that happen. One bright spot in this storm is that this year, for the first time ever, the Indian Health Service has access to advanced appropriations and that will save lives. And I want to thank you for your testimony, your leadership in advancing funding for Indian health care. And it is now in the base text of the House and Representative Senate bills that are being negotiated in Congress, it has the support of the White House. So once again, because of your work, Indian health will be protected. Give yourself a round of applause. You've worked for years for this. Now, I know uh, I continue to lead bipartisan legislation to permanently authorize those advanced appropriations, not only for the Bureau of Indian Health Services, but to extend them to the Bureau of uh, Indian Affairs and Education. Our children in schools need the same protections that they can always have a teacher available to them. Indian programs like the Advanced Appropriation Act has currently right now 28 sponsors. And if your member of Congress is not on that bill yet, here's your homework. It's HR 4832. Tell them that your expectation is you're gonna see their name on the co-sponsor sheet the next time it comes out. Now, we are negotiating with the Senate, as I mentioned, uh, advanced appropriations. Once again, we'll move forward. I'm confident of that. But I think you deserve an apology for how long it's taking Congress to move forward on the spending level bills. Uh, they were signed uh, in with bipartisan support in June. Uh, you've seen House Republicans, the chaos, the infighting. It's very difficult what they're going through in the news. It's difficult for me working with them. But despite that, I want to take a moment to recognize a person who's really stood up in the appropriations process for you. And that is Republican. Chairman Mike Simpson from Idaho. He has worked hand in hand with ranking member Shirley Pingree, and together they're upholding the tradition, the long standing way that we work in a nonpartisan fashion in the Interior Appropriations Bill for Indian Country. So, Chairman uh, Simpson, he is doing everything he can. When you see him, please thank him. He fought off major, major, major cuts. So, what that does is it puts Indian country in a stronger position as we go into negotiate with the House and Senate bills. But there's also other bills you need to keep your eye on and you come in our office and talk to you about all the time. Your lines in the EPA, the Environmental Protection Bill, Housing and Urban Development, and the Department of Justice, you need to um, also ask your member of Congress to watch the funding in there too. So, um, I just want to say that members need to hear from you and they need to hear that tribal funding isn't a partisan thing. It's never a thing we do if it's nice and we can afford it. It is a trust thing and it is an obligation to do it. So let me close with this. The federal government has a moral, a moral and legal obligation to protect tribal culture and natural resources and to honor treaty rights. This obligation was recognized 50 years ago this week, the Supreme Court's Bolt decision, and it's every bit as important today. And I had an opportunity to vote as a state legislature for the Mille Lacs right to hunt and fish on their ceded territory. And I am so excited that we are remembering that the Supreme Court sometimes can get it right, and he got it right on the Bolt decision. So, Ultimately, honoring your trust and treaty responsibilities is upholding and defending sovereign rights, the rights that you deserve, making decisions for your land, your children, 
your security, yes, your future. So um, stay, stay in touch with the Native American Caucus. After the next election, we're gonna have to go back and do more work to educate more members about the trust and treaty responsibility, a sacred responsibility that Congress needs to honor. Thank you so much.